Good morning, guys. We're going to talk about God. <laughs> we're going we're gonna, we're gonna to talk about evolution. And we're going to talk about estrogen. <laughs> In this episode of the Men's Health Clinic video log, God and evolution are going to team up against the non-believers that you have to control estrogen. <laughs> okay. There are, there, are lots, there, are lots, there are lots of proponents of you don't need to control estrogen because estrogen does have numerous health benefits. <laughs> so cardiovascular health, <laughs> bone strength, libido. Oh, honestly, the list goes on. Um, we've welcomed Joseph Hernshaw into our family. Uh, he's our medical researcher. He's uh, done a recent blog on estrogen, which I'll put a link to at the bottom. Uh, <laughs> So, um, yeah, what the hell, what, what the hell, okay. <laughs> so nobody's refuting the health benefits of estrogen. What we are refuting is the fact that you do not need to control estrogen. Now, in principle, you obviously shouldn't control estrogen, but if you have a propensity to aromatization, which... A lot of people do because of the numerous reasons that we've discussed ad nauseum before then you will have a propensity to excess aromatization meaning excess estrogen so TRT is all about establishing normal physiological levels now that's important to appreciate. It's normal free testosterone to estrogen to DHT. You also have to consider SHBG and total testosterone. But everybody's actually simply concerned with these three bioavailable androns because that's where you get the benefits. It's not where you get all the benefits, but we will go into that at a later date because Joseph's on to the SHBG discussion. Um, I think it's the most important glycoprotein in the body and it's the most fascinating topic outside of the usuals. It's very misunderstood and we're going to correct that misunderstanding with science, logic, common sense, biology, physiology, pharmacology, all the ologies. So in a good TRT protocol, if you've got low SHBG, your testosterone will, testosterone, your SHBG will rise. Uh, so why would it rise in a good TRT protocol? To be discussed. So estrogen. Nobody's denying the health benefits of estrogen. Just the fact that we need to control our propensity to aromatization. So the obvious things, weight loss, removing endocrine disruptors, clean, healthy diet, healthy liver. But we still have massive advocates of you cannot have too high estrogen. Show me the interventional studies that demonstrate harm. Have a read of Joseph's blog. Um, so... Let's think about natural physiology. Let's, and let's make this relevant to obviously testosterone, because this is the subject we're talking about. Um, the HPG axis, the hypopituitary gonadal axis. Say that three times really fast. Um, estrogen has a negative feedback 
on the hypothalamus and pituitary. So essentially, it tells the hypothalamus and pituitary not to send LH and FSH down when it gets too high. Let that sink in. If estrogen gets too high, it suppresses the hypothalamus in sending gonadotrophin releasing hormone down to the pituitary and also has an effect on the pituitary suppressing the release of LH and FSH down to the testicles. So, who's screwed up? Is it God who made humans in the perfect image of himself? Let's ignore the appendix and the blind spot in the retina. But, is it God or is it evolution? Millions of years of evolution survival of the species who's messed up because according to the proponents that you do not need to control estrogen and estrogen is the most amazing hormone in the world and you can never have too much one of these two has messed up think about that <laughs> so when you think about natural biology and this complex negative feedback system that has either been designed by the man upstairs or has evolved over millions of years god they messed up didn't they so the whole premise behind testosterone replacement therapy is to restore normal and let's not get into the normal conversation because obviously normal now is different to normal the normal's average and so there's that complication so we shouldn't con confuse normal with average because the average has gone down because we live in a sick society but they messed up, didn't they? Whether you're a believer or a non-believer, they should have let estrogen run free. <laughs> get, get a grip, guys. Honestly, it's funny as. Oh, no, no, no. Just keep up in the estrogen. No. Well, what they do is they keep up in the testosterone. Um so that the eastern finally balancing out balances out which in principle can work but what happens when you have too high testosterone ad nauseum honestly <laughs> you've got to appreciate the importance of balance it's fundamental to health You've got to appreciate the importance of anabolic processes, catabolic processes. I don't know, honestly. It, I, I, I promised Lydia I wouldn't be contrary, but I'm, you know me. <laughs> Why not? It's, it's the internet. People, people think it's okay to just talk absolute trash. And they do. Blazing, blazing trash. Um, all for likes. <laughs> all for acceptance. All to feed the ego. That naughty ego that stops us from seeing the truth. Stops us from realising that we are one consciousness experiencing itself subjectively. There is no death, 